So I kicked off my birthday week with my family at the marathon monster that is Avengers Endgame. Hello, I'm Kimberly Davis. The box office blockbuster changed the game with a $1.2 billion opening weekend. You trust me? I do. So what happens next for our favorite characters? Marvel and their parent company Disney has unveiled plans for multiple new Marvel series showcasing some of your favorite Avengers like Loki, Winter Soldier, Falcon, Vision and Scarlet Witch. Confess you murdered my sister. Say it. I won't. You want to shoot me? Go on. Do it. You'll spend the rest of your life in prison and your parents will lose another daughter. I'll take that chance. The sun is breaking through. The Fix, new Monday on ABC. We have about five or six people in trap. There are four vehicles that are underneath the crane. Welcome back. We turn now to a graphic video as a massive crane crashed to the ground, killing four. This shocking video captured the moment the crane crashed into the middle of one of Seattle's busiest intersections, slicing through two buildings, one of them belonging to Google that was under construction. Drivers watching in horror as 28,000 pounds of metal collapsed to the road. On this day in 1854, Lincoln University, formerly Ashman Institute, became the first degree granting HBCU in the nation. Happy birthday if you're celebrating today. You share the day with Michelle Pfeiffer, Jerry Seinfeld, and Erica Campbell. Well, it's back to the drawing board for USC trustees as they continue their search for a president to secede Harris Pastides. Student activists protested the board for selecting all male finalists and for a remark made by one of those finalists that binge drinking contributes to sexual assault. Brendan Kelly, the chancellor at USC Upstate, will take over as interim president on August 1st. I hope to see you next time for more of What's Trending. I'm Kimberly Davis. Choose kindness. Have a great day and thanks for watching.